the Windows firewall sucks. Why? Because any program with administrative permissions can change firewall settings whenever it wants. And there is nothing you can do about it. On my system, as you can see, I have the Windows firewall disabled because it's useless. Instead, I use SimpleWall, which is much more effective and privacy friendly. Anyways, this video is not about SimpleWall, it's about Portmaster. Taking a look at my task manager, you can see that Portmaster is already installed and active on my system. Now let's take a look at the network monitor, which will show me all inbound and outbound connections of my PC. Generally speaking, if you have no apps or programs open, you should not see any network activity here. Now let's see what happens if I open up Firefox. Clearly, it seems Firefox is already connecting to some domains, even if we did not make a search request yet. If you click on the small three dots on the right hand side, you can block individual domains. Clicking on the three dots on the top side will take us to the app settings. Here you can choose a general filter like allow, block or prompt. Now let's make a search request in Firefox and see what happens. We can now see that Firefox has established a connection with DuckDuckGo because I'm using the DuckDuckGo search engine. Basically this section here will show you every single connection that your browser makes. If we click on the settings icon we can change our DNS server for example to Quad9 or Cloudflare. If we click on filter list we can change some security and content blocking settings. So that was my basic overview of Portmaster. If you don't want to be a victim of mass surveillance and you care about freedom and privacy, you are freedom and privacy. Portmaster is for you. I'll put a link to the website in the video description.